What's the Shackles gang? Jill Shackles, your advice guru. I give relationship advice as well as push people towards their dreams and just spreading love. Just recently I made a post about having job orientation and bad customer service. If you want to know about that, definitely comment in the section below. Alright fellas, this is your video. As you requested, why is it that nice guys are deemed as the guys that girls don't want to get with? Ladies, if I miss anything, definitely comment in the section below. This was actually a reference to my video a long time ago called Nice Guys Be Confident. But without further ado, let's get on it. The first thing is that when you talk about yourself and you're talking about other dudes versus you, how you'll treat her better, instead of it coming off like you're a warrior, you're strong, you got this, it comes off more as cocky. Because now you're comparing yourself to a dude that's irrelevant in her life. She may not even see that person that way. And you just brought it to light. Or you're talking crap about somebody that she truly cares about. She may not be with that person anymore. But the fact that you're talking mess about them makes her wonder, like, is he going to be talking about me the same way later on in the future? The second thing is when you're giving too much to a girl. You give her so much that she doesn't even need to be in a relationship with you to actually receive that affection. If anything, you need to be doing things over time. You give a little bit, receive a little bit, or at least give a little bit, see how she responds. Then that way it's not an expectation like you give something and then she's supposed to give you something, or you give her something and you keep on giving, 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 and then you give yourself till you can't give anymore, she ends up with somebody else, and then you're like, I've been giving you everything, what's up? That's mainly because you haven't been paying attention to the signs. If you're giving and she's not receiving and doing something back, then your, your gifts are not being acknowledged. They're not being appreciated in the way that you deserve the appreciation. And you should just keep on collecting because you're giving. S see where I'm coming with that? A lot of times guys don't read the signs and girls will say, don't give me so much. Mainly for the protection of you because they're interested in you. But if you keep on giving and giving and giving, they get used to it and they'll just take it. And it's not them trying to be malicious or manipulative. It's more like this guy doesn't get it. I want to be interested in him, not necessarily the things he has, but the things that he's giving me, I love. So why not? He'll be in the friend zone. I'll keep on talking to him. He's always going to be interested in me. The third thing, you're around too much. In the way that she can't really get rid of you, or you're the one who always wants to listen to her problems 24-7, and this is what happened to me, personal experience here. You listen to all of her problems and stuff like that, she starts seeing you as a friend. Because think about it. When girls like a guy, they refrain from telling them everything of everything. Or at least everything that's negative about them. Or the insecurities they have because they don't want to run the guy away. And if you're sitting here listening to all the problems, then yeah, you're going to end up being in that category. But if you listen to some problems, of, of course you got to listen to some degree because you can't just like totally cancel her off because she won't think you're interested. You listen to a few, give your best advice, but then change the direction into something that's more optimistic, enlightening, something that'll make her smile. You don't want it to just be a, focused on that one negative situation and that's the end of conversation because the only thing she'll remember is that like, yeah, it was boring. I didn't really have any fun with that and she won't want to come back. So in that way, you have to talk to her, listen to a few problems, but redirect it in a positive light at the same time not physically be there all the time let her wonder like don't text her all the time all the time all the time let her text you first sometimes and be like hey i was just wondering how you're doing um i haven't seen you in a while then it creates interest then it's like okay i actually have to put in work to talk to this person and the more that they feel like they have time to value with you the more they're going to feel connected the more they're going to want to build a relationship with you it's just how it works number four you don't take it a step further i know you care about this girl a lot a lot and you just don't want to disrespect her you want to feel, her to feel like you know what i'm the one and things like that but here's the thing when you're hanging out with her a lot you have her in your car or you just have her around she's already in your corner you basically have her undivided attention in that moment so if you're sitting talking to her if you say something jokingly and you place a hand on her shoulder if she doesn't like you she'll swat it or she'll just if she's not that interested she'll be like uh that was weird She'll just give a certain body language that's uninviting. But if you put a hand on her shoulder, she's chill about it, or you put a hand on her leg, then it's cool. Then you're on a good stance. Now, 
that's when you could kind of change the conversation into something more intimate. Like, um, or I just happen to notice you have a different hairstyle or you like her earrings or just like give a compliment and let her talk about where she got it from or how this came about and that you think she's really pretty and stuff like that. But don't give too many compliments because then I, I limit it to like three because within those three, you have her talk about herself and then you kind of relate to the things that you guys have in common. And then from there, you can actually lean in forward. Now, I'm not saying lean in and go directly for the kiss and just make out with her and just take her face down. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. You lean in and see if she leans in. Now, if she leans in, you lean a little bit closer, turn your head a certain direction, depending on what direction you're trying to go in. And then that's when you try to make the move to kiss her. Because if you don't, you just come off as a guy that, like, she feels like, you know what, I really was interested in this guy, but since he didn't make a move, I might as well just move on. But in reality, you want this girl, you have to push yourself a little further. And I used to be that shy guy. And it sucked. I don't know how many chances I've missed, probably about like 15. And through my experiences, it has allowed me to help you and give you 100% the personal experience that I've been through and realized. And a lot of you guys just don't do that. Which is probably why you should subscribe to this channel. And I don't want to be the guy that sounds like your grandma like, I've been there, done that, sonny. You ain't telling me nothing new. If anything, watch another video. If you like my content, definitely subscribe. I'm Jalil Shackles, your advice guru. This is all love, baby. Have a great day. Jalil Shackles, the voices.